Last week, we featured a video of a difficult vein access in an elderly patient where we use a reversed S-mark technique in order to enhance the peripheral veins and cannulate the vein and save the day. But in this video, I will demonstrate common mistakes that are often made when an IV must be started in the foot. In particular, the video will focus on what to do when the veins in the foot are thick-walled and what to do when they roll, which are the two most common mistakes or problems that sometimes may make IV access in the foot difficult, very painful and inconvenient for the patient. When the veins of the upper extremity are inaccessible, the veins of the dorsum of the foot or the saphenous vein of the lower leg can be used. And when using one of the foot veins for the IV access, the first thing we should do is avoid insertion of the catheter close to the ankle where it may bend. A bent or kinked catheter as the ankle moves will interfere with the IV flow, something we refer as to IV being positional. In this video, we will see a failure to insert the catheter into the vein of the dorsum of the foot and what to do to fix it. We can see a speck of blood in the chamber, but the operator has missed it and advanced the needle further through the vein. So now the needle is posterior to the vein, which is the problem. The helper person steps in here and tries to save the IV, but the attempts are unsuccessful. As the needle is pulled out, the hematoma starts forming immediately, complicating the troubleshooting and eventually demanding the new attempt at another vein at another site. When this happens and the IV line insertion fails, simply leave the failed catheter in place until the new IV is secured in order to avoid expansion of the hematoma at the first attempt. We are going to re-prep the foot with an antiseptic and select the new vein for another or a second attempt. We have several options for veins here, but the greater saphenous vein looks good and that is exactly what we're going to cannulate. Note how we selected a longer IV catheter, in this case 4.8 centimeters, with flat wings, which makes it easier to secure the catheter to the skin and make it more comfortable for the patient. Note a very low angle of insertion that made all the difference. Note how the IV catheter with the needle is inserted at least about one centimeter before threading the catheter over the needle into the saphenous vein. So you wanna make sure that your catheter and the needle are at least one centimeter inside the vein before threading the catheter over the needle into the vein. And that was it, troubleshooting the IV in the foot. And even though the veins in this patient looked easy, the combination of the thick walls of the veins and the propensity of the veins in this patient to roll made it a lot more difficult than expected out on the first look. And again, do use gloves whenever possible to prevent catheter and insertion site contamination. And keep in mind these two crucial tips. Always use a very low angle of insertion. And number two, advance the needle catheter system rapidly into the lumen of the vein to prevent veins rolling, which occurs with the slow needle advancement. Hope you find this video useful and if so, do subscribe to our channel and never miss the future videos. Until next time.